Hello. Here I am from the undisclosed hotel room doing lectures while veteran is doing uh, other things. So it's up to me to create something new and important and uh, interesting for you. So let's roll the intro and see what do I think that I have to say. Anyways, uh, in the last couple of days, I was thinking about what is happening in the world right now when it comes to AI, AOSs, and so on. Because I was doing a little bit of white coding. I was using the anti-gravity uh, application from Google, which is powered by Gemini. And I must say that I was amazed because partly the application works as advertised. So more or less as a better version of Visual Studio Code with all the different things that you need for uh, coding using AI. But the other thing is that Gemini itself, as opposed to Gemini from the previous generation, so the Gemini 2, actually works better. And it works better in such a way that it is actually fun to use it. I'm using the professional version, so um, I'm not using just the uh, regular normal version. But the thing is that um, although there are some limitations, quite severe, uh, to be precise, but there are some limitations. Uh, Gemini 3 is actually extremely good at coding and creating things. So, for example, I was able to create a small application that I needed to uh, do templating and then to create something from templates. And the thing that I did is that uh, I actually managed to do it in, I don't know, two hours or so. It created an application that was uh, nowhere near simple because what it did, it decided to do uh, the regular, uh, how it would be done professionally. So a regular API backend written in Python, the um, front end was in Node.js, and it created an application that works. It completely solved my problem. And as I, as I said, a couple of hours and that was it. Now, the thing that I wanted to mention is that it seems that we have come to a point where actually people understand that the AI itself is a tool. It, they uh, recognize that the tool itself is capable of doing things. And people are slowly coming to the point where they don't believe the AI is going to, quote unquote, take over the world and do the prob uh, solve all the problems. But the AI, basically, what it's going to do, it's going to just say, okay, this is a tool that is helpful and it is going to help you to do whatever you want to do without thinking about it. So AI is slowly but surely maturing, which is an interesting thing. The other thing is that uh, we seem to have come to a point where ChatGPT is not the only player out, out there. It used to be that ChatGPT was the best AI. Claude was the uh, AI intended and better at uh, coding. And then Gemini was more or less, uh, I wouldn't call it a joke, but second grade AI when it came to almost everything because it didn't have the power to be much better than any, anybody else. And also um, the way that was integrated into Google products uh, made it inferior. Okay, I'm not even going to mention Copilot because what Copilot is doing right now and what is the, the service that is doing to Microsoft is something to behold basically. But anyways, now Gemini 3 seems to be a mature model, which works, which enables quick solutions to problems, which enables you to code, and which enables you to actually do something useful. Also, the interface that they chose is deliberately chosen in such a way that if you want to code, you can use the anti-gravity. If you want to use it as you would probably use ChatGPT, so from a web interface, there is an interface for that. And also, it is starting to get useful in the uh, other Google products. Especially the thing that I wanted to see would be Google Docs, but it is still far from what I want to see there because there is an um, obvious problem with security awareness and the uh, fear that if you leave uh, Gemini or any other model uh, free to roam through your documents and uh, all the different settings, it's going to do something nasty. So almost everything that you can try, you're trying to do is going to be 
limited in, in some way or form just to stop it from talking to other parts of your computer. But back to the point, it seems that the AI has matured. And I think that uh, this is a good thing because right now, uh, almost all the AI tools that I have are actually tools that beho behave in a predictable manner. They can be used and they are slowly becoming uh, extremely useful. They enable me to do things that I could never do before. So I know how to program, I know how to code, but I'm nowhere near as good as the uh, Gemini when it uh, did, the, did the solution that I was trying to do. But also this enabled me to create a, quite a few projects that would take me, I would go with days to write down on paper and to put down as a thing that you can actually use. And it took a couple of hours. The best thing that I'm using AI right now is the uh, ability to uh, condense and refine what I'm talking to, uh, what I'm uh, talking about. So I just basically uh, dump the entirety of the idea that I have into some sort of AI tool, and then I get it to uh, create a project out of it, or to create a draft out of it, or to create a one pager um, appointment or one pager explanation for somebody else. So AI is something that I can now use from every, every day to every other day, and I can actually get some useful information out of it. It's not perfect, but it's much better than it was two years before. And what is stranger to me is that when I look at the videos that I did two years, before, uh, two years ago, uh, I was all for AI, and the AI that we had way back there, two years ago, uh, was compared to the, today's AIs, it was pretty basic. It could do some basic things, but it was nowhere near perfect. I'm not saying that this one is perfect, but I cannot wait to see what is going to happen in the next year or two, uh, when ChatGPT and all the rest of the AI bubble slowly start to do things that are going to be useful. So what do you think? Am I wrong, am I wrong there?